we have Beno Black, Venus, and Mercury. So currently today, you'd be seeing these sectors, okay? So you can go to this link here. Basically, it would be the today's page, okay? So you always go to that map page and be able to click and choose what you want down there on the current, okay? So IE today, that's what they're trying to zoom the cameras in on to look at. So when you're going to be seeing the images that we should be able to try to view, but right now, we can only see what I'll show you in a few minutes. We'll get some high one blue backgrounds. So I'm cruising around this screen at 400%, okay, and it's today's shot. And as I say, basically, what I just have mentioned to you about the flopper right there, you want to take a look at that. Because it's showing through really good on this latest Navy shot. And we love the Navy shots. Big heads up to the Navy. Because at least we can get this right now. Because right now, they're not wanting to let us see this. Let me stop this. So now I'm at a 1,000. You can remember to see how. And then basically, we have this very interesting group around here. And I'll also take you to, to H2. Because it'll be a different overlay of the same data. And they'll show you this stuff. So that's directly across. And there was interesting stuff here. And basically, like what you see when you go to my channel. You'll see, and we got way more than one out there, folks. It's the super giants, there's tons of this stuff out there. Okay? And you're also going to see when I show you the HI shots here in a little bit that we are limited to getting to, as you can see, another terahydrin, a trilateral, okay? And that's more than likely maybe our, or another uh, large object that we would normally always see on these behind the sun shots, okay? That's very interesting i.e. you can see by this propagation and this triangulation how they came up with the ideas of the satellites with that triangulation that we've seen that they have up there by that's basically scanning us right now earth and mars and a lot of stuff as you can see on that go back to my videos on that when we bust balls on NASA's getting his deals so uh, we have that interesting propagation there and yes you can Every day you should be able to find out on Worldwide Telescope what constellations and stuff this stuff is, but this is an actual brings you back an actual picture of this stuff. Big planets because these are way larger. That's way larger. These are all way larger than the Earth, ladies and gentlemen, folks. Okay. So there was also there's our flopper up there. We're cruising around in a thousand percent. This is even. That, just that one object there alone of all this cluster is bigger than Earth itself, our cells, okay? That's a humongous one there. Now, that could be Jupiter, and this is January 4th, 2012. So, and also we have this humongous over here, so which planet could that be? So, I'm going to go to my map at the end, and so when we get to the end, we should be able to see where the heck that was at, okay? So, I want to thank the Navy a lot, because right now, from Sechi High, which basically would be... Uh, the farther away shots, as you see, I'm going to go up real fast for anybody that's just been cruising around on this. And they're like, well, is that the volcano is talking about? Because from what I can tell, my theory is it's light propagation from the supergiants. So let's show you what that is pretty much real fast. Now, probably why we're not seeing the high shots is because we're being able to bust them on this theory that they think that it's just lens flare. It's not. It's energy of the atmosphere of these planets, okay, that they're basically being able to see, okay? They've always been thinking it's this reflection in crap because they're trying to hide the meatball, that the idea of the meatball actually, and they're trying to make it take everybody out that it's a reflection. Well, we see the meatball solid like a planet all the goddamn time. We've been seeing this spooge and this spooge, and what we know that that is, is it's a CME, not a coronal mass ejection, and we've got to take the C off. It's a mass electrical flare that they put out when a CME... Because we've seen these gigantic CMEs in my videos, and you can just go back and you'll see them uh, if anybody's been paying attention and staying in tune with what we're looking at every time. So, uh, to be able to factualize that for everybody, we can go to this here one here where NASA shows that the idea that these big CMEs, well, that's the CME off, the, off of uh, the sun, okay? Now, yes, a coronal mass ejection, not off a planet, but their energy mass that, or protection layer that, that we, they keep on telling us from the instruments, they went out there and measured that the idea that it's thinner, okay? Their atmosphere is not anything close to Earth. Well, that's fine. But they put off a plasma blast of some sorts, electrical or some sorts, because we're seeing it do it, 
And now there's a live shot, or basically a most recent shot that we've got out of uh, from movies. And see, they don't like this stuff because they're covering up the date there. There you go. On the first, this is the uh, most recent movie I can pull up. And you can see the Earth flaring like crazy. We can see our planets coming by up on top and on the bottom. As we've seen before, and these planets are always, we are but a speck of grain of dust compared to the sun. See one of these smallest, smallest little grains of what they put in there to show you the stuff that's going by and so forth? You pick out the largest black, I mean the smallest black tiny speck that you can find in all this movement of all these objects, like this planet here that's got sun propagation on one side and dark on the other, so that you know that when it's coming this way, the supergiants and the sun are over here, okay? Because the dark side of that planet is on that other back side right there. So let me, it's going to keep on playing pretty fast. So let me get up 400% on this, and you'll realize what I'm talking about. Okay, so you'll know, you can read what the direction of the supergiants and the sun is, because you can see all the light propagation. The light in the sun is, is directed in this side, okay? The dark side of the sun, and what doesn't blend down on those planets at least, is the dark side of those planets. And you can realize how huge those planets are, and they're there. Okay? All this stuff is there. Okay? Let me go to C2. If I, I think I can pick C2 out of here real fast. Go to my our C2 image. We'll blow it up. We'll go up to 400%. Look at all these goddamn planets that are around here. Check that out. Okay? Different layers from the cameras on that one satellite. Okay? All these planets are up behind the sun right now. This is behind today. Okay? So I'm not even going to zoom in anymore on this because basically I got some stuff that I, I took some pictures real fast. And of all these objects up here because it was actually like a wishbone. And I'm not wanting all that propagation, but they're giving me, see I zoomed in on that object there. I didn't really zoom in on that. Well actually I did. I would be in there because yeah, there was a group. So we've got all these planets here and this is all up by the sun. So some of this stuff is way out in front of the sun, more than likely all this stuff. And these are the floppers that are giving the images down to Earth. And as you notice, what I was showing you on C3 a little bit ago, uh, and basically there, so you got the time and date. I'm not sure if I hit that there because I'm talking. Just whip this data out to you guys real fast. And we see this. That's the thing we've seen when it gets x-ray that it always kind of pretty much shows up. Very solid object. So humongous planets, folks, all over the place that they have what they always show. Because today they start marking even other stuff for someone to see because they've got Earth here, which is basically more than likely Earth is like directly in front of Venus because I really do not believe they messed up here on this deal and I do not believe that this is Venus. But if that's Venus, Venus is down here and Earth's up there. But we're in, Venus is is got a lot of action going on. So we're going to take a look at that because the supergiants here and actually even today you get, and I'm going to zoom in on this, we, they're, they're telling us that's Jupiter. So we got this today. On behind, I mean basically on high. Okay, this is the only thing I can pick up on on HI. <coughs> no red background. So we've got this going on, and more than likely it's Jupiter. I mean Venus. More than likely we're still getting this this uh, action from, and as you can see, there is CME action from all the supergiants and stuff like that. And as you realize that when they show you Jupiter that big you can get a good idea. They're starting to try to let everybody allow if you've got a brain to figure it out. That's Jupiter. Jupiter is the only thing close to the size of the sun. The supergiants are all right there, folks. And you can kind of see the gold wing of the back part of the supergiants right there. And this is how massive and how far that these cameras can shoot out in space. And then they have to pick out this stuff. But they know from GPSing, okay, that's over there. They'll put a laser mark tag on it, okay, when they're looking at this stuff. Okay, so if this is the back side of the sun, and I mean around by more than likely because we know that when they're showing us this, okay, Venus is over here, and that's what I'm pretty much figuring. Okay, you turn it like a, you roll it up like a piece of paper, okay? Earth is somewhere, more than likely, it's got it, we're somewhere around here, back here with, uh, so we get the less of the propagation of all this supergiant light over here, okay? So we get the sunlight. Of off of the sun of this glare that you're seeing here and also off the, off the supergiants, okay? But look at how bright the supergiants are because that's not just that they do not like that truth because the sun, see, uh, Windows means Windows, folks. The idea that they had it set up, they still have, I mean, that's what they can do and I don't care. I know SCADA, okay? 
control and data acquisition. That's why they call it Windows Windows because the idea that so they'd always be able to look into somebody's window to see what they're looking at, okay, on their computer, okay. It's that simple. They can mirror your window shot, and then when you start showing and talking about something, so the super giants exist, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is in the super giants main sequence, okay. Jupiter's out there in the darkness at our back door right now, okay. And as you can see, Venus is down here. Earth, Mars, in this shot where they suck in on all this vast out in space. Okay, you roll this up like a piece of paper, and somewhere we are. With I'll have to go ahead and show you the emphasis to show you a recent map. I'll pull up of uh, Jupiter. I'll have that map for a second. I'm just cruising around. Basically, what I do is I share all this information with you guys, and I'm looking through here, and basically all these little white specks that you see on these eye shots of night are either constellations or if it's a little glitch like that then you see that I'm cruising up and yes that should possibly be the moon down there on that shot because that's supposed to be north and it going over the west coast and I made a misquote in one of my videos here I said when I was pointing at the right side of one of the shots of nighttime because this is west north is there and west if you lay on the ground and that's where the moon is going down over the horizon at 1050 Zulu time okay so, but in the past when I have shown you that we have a brightness and it's not the moon on some of these fireballs, it was correct. No one got on and argued with me. No scientists, nothing, nobody, okay? Because they knew, it's like, yep, he's showing it. He's showing the constellation maps. Moon's not there. It's what's actually there, okay? Now, you have to check some of these constellation times of this stuff coming around at like, uh, 7 Zulu would be midnight our time, and that should be the moon going with all that propagation with all the planets uh, shimmering on it, is what you'd be seeing on all this stuff. But I'll show you the pictures that I got from last night. Now, folks, when they give you the outside plot, this is way out, and basically you're always going to have stereo A or B on the right or left. It should be A over here and B behind over there. Okay, and then Earth is down here in front of the sun. And this is all this supergiant stuff, folks. All these, if you end up looking these up, most of this stuff, now I could possibly be make, making a mistake on that, but all this mass, this M stuff, is new things they found since you put Soho up, and it's all the super giants folks back here. They found all this stuff, okay? That's all the super giants back there, and it actually could be all this back here is all the super giants, i.e., what I was showing you, let me freeze it, show you on the picture again, i.e., I'll zoom in, super giants folks, this is all super giants way back here, okay? That's why we're going up to take a peeky poo at Mars. Because we know Mars is getting this, and also Mercury gets their ass kicked by all this supergiant and sun action, okay? And all the CMEs from the sun and everything like that. And there's Jupiter and us back here in the darkness in the back hole. We're somewhere in this envelope of the sunlight here every day, folks, because we rotate right around here somewhere, okay? If we were to end up back over here and follow Jupiter and get out of a different magnetical pole and stuff, we'd be in darkness all the time, okay? So there's a good, basically recently, these shots today are damn good so for showing you the idea of what the supergiant's mass is. And coming down here, you can see what they plotted on the, on the planets. So no matter what, in the grouping above, if you look at where this is basically Earth here is in that one there, Mars, Venus. Venus is in this one here. And then we got an example of Earth there. So we'll zoom in on this. So everybody's been watching the dark cluster, or that bright cluster we've seen in the past, that's probably it right there above Earth, because there is Earth, we'll blow it up to a thousand percent. Earth is in here, you can pick Earth out in there, and then that's the idea that, okay, if we pick Earth out in there, is that Earth there? Which one is Earth, because we got a dark there, a dark there, a dark there, so Earth is in there somewhere in that group, okay? And the moon would be very small, because this is Venus right here, this circular there, and they're wanting to get a good idea of what Venus so this is probably the tail of Lovejoy going past Venus, okay? Or Venus is still doing something crazy from that CME. But I really do believe that it's, because you have to roll this up, folks. I'm at a thousand percent, but you roll, and once again, you see objects by the sun today. Well, you're scrolling at 400 percent up there on core. And there's your date on that one. You can see the objects around up there. So as we come down through this, you've got to remember to scroll this around like a piece of paper, folks. Because basically we're wrapped around the sun and the supergiants out there. I have all this brightness up over there. As you see up there, all this up there. And we come back down and we'll see that the idea that Mars, Earth, Venus. So as we can see the dark side of Venus here, then more than likely this is Earth here because it's got a dark side to it. So 
that's probably the sun that direction. So with this being our current sky chart, you're going to want to watch the next video because it's explain all this. Those are shots. Next video back down to Earth.